Saturday, August 7th, 74 jet skiers from all over the country came to Greens Park in Lake Orion to compete and brave the wave. Cash prizes were handed out in 14 different categories throughout the day, including racing and freestyle events. So today we have the best of the best in freestyle. We have some of the best racing, but literally when it comes to freestyle, the best in the world have shown up in Lake Orion, Michigan today. Uh, Ryan and I were just friends. He was a jet ski racer. I was not. I like event planning. And he said there wasn't anything like this that was happening in the state of Michigan. And I said, we're the Great Lakes state. Why isn't it happening here? And I said, let's do it. So um, we're thankful to the village of Lake Orion and Orion Township. And those guys sat and were willing to work with us to have this happen. So it's the backing of the people in the village, Lake Orion police and all the people that are local that um, helped this to occur. So Ryan and I just had a goal. And we can't believe we're already on year five. And it's grown um, exponentially every year. We still had our event during COVID. We were limited to the amount of people here, but it still happened. We didn't give up. And it's just great. Beautiful day, 82 and sunny in Lake Marine, Michigan. Can't ask for better. Coming all the way from Brainerd, Minnesota, was 13-year-old Nolan Jukish, who also happens to be the 2019 IJSBA Junior Freestyle World Champion. He clearly was a fan favorite at Saturday's event. Yeah, we practice almost every day and just a lot of consistent rides. And What's going through your head when you're out there competing? Do you have a routine plan or you just kind of do what comes to you? I kind of have an idea of what I want to do beforehand. And then uh, I just kind of, as I go, if I crash, I can make changes in case, but. Cool. Now, while you're out there, I don't know if you realize that, but you are definitely a crowd favorite out there. What, what's it like performing in front of a crowd? Uh, scary before, I'm nervous, and then afterwards, it's pretty cool. But in the middle, it's kind of just a blur. I don't really remember much of it. But. <laughs> Entry fees and sponsorships allow Michigan Wave Runners to offer cash prizes to the top three finishers in each event. Money raised each year also allows the organization to support local nonprofits. This year's event benefited Dutton Farm in Rochester. For Brave the Wave results and more, visit michiganwavemakers.com.